Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're going to make a white chocolate mocha with the Keurig K Cafe, but we're going to use a reusable K cup and we're going to use espresso grounds for our espresso shot. So I just bought these today at Walmart. This is their espresso rose Starbucks. It's already ground. Now I do have some espresso beans that I uh, grind sometimes and I've got another video on how to do that, but today I'm just going to use the, the espresso roast that's already ground. Now one thing with these reusable K-Cups, I do like the Perfect Pod. This is Amazon's number one best-selling um, reusable K-Cup. But you have to use a filter with it. Otherwise you get sediment um, in, your, in your espresso shot. And I've got another video where I show you how there's sediment when you, when you don't. And so with that said, you don't necessarily have to use an espresso uh, roast you can use a ground coffee and it works just as fine for your espresso shot Now they call that kind of like a coffee shop or a coffee shot but it gives you a so when you do a, a latte and You do a shot on this K cafe You're gonna get two ounces of water that runs through the K cup or this reusable K cup and you're gonna get two ounces of a really uh, espresso shot Kind of like a, a really strong coffee shot. It's really, really bitter. Then we're also going to need a uh, 2% milk. You can make this. I've made this with skim milk. I've made this with almond milk and whole milk. They top it with ready, uh, ready whip, uh, uh, whipped cream. And then you're going to need this white chocolate flavored syrup. And this is kind of like a really thick syrup. Um, I've got this at Walmart, but you can also get it off of Amazon. This can be a little tricky to find. And this is not exactly what they use at Starbucks. It's a little different brand. But that brand has gotten really expensive on uh, Amazon. So I'm just going to stick with this. It tastes, in my opinion, it tastes just as good almost. And this is just a little scoop that comes with this perfect pod for filling up the perfect pod. And so this is going to make, so we'll get a two ounce espresso shot. The latte line inside here, we're going to fill it up the milk up to the latte line. That's six ounces of milk. So you don't get quite uh, a small. So a small at Starbucks is 12 ounces. You're going to get about a 10 to 11 ounce drink with this. Um, so just make sure I use about a 14 ounce glass and it seems to hold everything. Okay, so let's talk about the reusable K-Cup. Again, we're going to get one of those paper filters out. And they're already kind of preformed. We're going to put it down in there like that. It's going to stick above, which is okay. And we've got to put uh, two tablespoons of, of a coffee grounds or espresso grounds in there. Okay, so one thing with putting these filters in, you do want to make sure you get them down in there quite a bit. But then they do stick up so when you close it, you are going to catch some of the filter in there, which is, that's okay. But I've noticed is these filters, so if you get the filter off of the middle, it seems like they don't hold as much um, coffee grounds. But if you get it out, out, the, out the back, they seem like they're already expanded up quite a bit. So you may have to fiddle with it a little bit, but you do need to make sure it, you've got plenty of room in there for your espresso shot. Okay, so now that we got our filter ready to go, we've got this handy dandy uh, scoop here that's going to fill it up. Now we need to fill that up with two tablespoons. That's what that holds, but it doesn't quite hold two tablespoons with that filter in there. So I go just a little bit below the two tablespoon mark. Now this is where that spoon comes in handy. You can reach in here. So there's, see how it's just a little bit below that usually works out a little better. So now we're going to put the lid on. I've got my reusable cake up. We're just going to dump it in. Now it's okay if it mounds up a little bit. Okay. Now the main thing with these is you don't want any coffee grounds on the lip. So that when you see there's an O-ring on here. When this closes you want that O-ring to kind of seal. You can have some of the paper filter material is fine. And that'll press down, so it's okay to have it mounded up a little bit. And you're just going to close it. And you want to make sure it's nice and tight. So see how this is all sealed 
all the way around. You're going to know if you have coffee grounds in there. And water may leak out around, and you may get water drippage um, around your Keurig where normally water doesn't come. So this is, and make sure there's no coffee grounds on the outside because you can get coffee grounds um, inside your drink that way. But what I've also noticed too is so sometimes in there when you push that lid down, you get a few coffee grounds. So I like to dump it over and just get rid of those coffee grounds too. So now this K-cup is ready to go for an espresso shot. Okay, so we're going to come over here and lift the handle. We've got our reusable K-cup. It just goes in there anyway. Um, see the bottom of it's kind of recessed so that needle is not going to pierce the bottom of it. So make sure it is sitting flush. We're going to close the handle like normal. Don't force it. And then we're going to come up here. Make sure it's on. We've got to hit the latte button. It's got to warm up first. Okay, so once it's warmed up, you're going to hit the latte button. Your strong light is lit and your shot light. Then you can come hit the K button. So I'm going to hit the K button here in just a second. But we're going to add our milk. So we're going to fill it up to the latte line, which is six ounces. Make sure you put your lid on. Okay. Now this is a hot drink. So we're going to be doing, when we do the latte, we're just going to press the button. We're not going to press the cold button first. Okay, so now we're ready. I'm going to press the K button. And I'll come over here and hit the latte button. This is going to take about a minute and a half, and the shot will take less than a minute. So with those reusable K-cups, sometimes I do get a little bit of water that comes out around the side. I'm not quite sure I know what that is yet. Um, it's because the lid is down tight. It just Sometimes that happens. I don't get very much, but I do get just a little bit of water around it. So the shot is brewed around 140 usually. Between 140 and 150. And like I said, that'll take about another minute. Okay, so this beeped at us, let it know it's done. Be careful, it's hot. That's why you've got the handle. Now again, this is a hot drink. So we're gonna add our froth, or froth milk and the milk all at once. Now we've gotta add our white chocolate mocha. Now since this is not quite as big as a Starbucks small, I only like to put two tablespoons. Starbucks uses between three and four for this size of drink, but two seems just right. So again, we're going to put it in. Now this is a stirred drink, so we do have to stir it. Stir in that syrup. And this used up almost, yeah, used up all the froth. So now we're going to add some whipped cream. So there you have it. This is a really sweet drink. It takes away all the coffee taste, all the um, bitterness of the espresso shot. So it is kind of a sweet drink. You can um, do things like uh, get some sugar-free whipped topping. You can get some sugar-free, um, you know, some car some um, syrups and different things and use a different type of milk. That will help uh, take away some of the calories from it. But this is just a really, really good drink. Now, it's not piping hot like they are from Starbucks. So the drink, the drink ends up about 135 degrees. You know, it's not, it's not, it's, it is pretty hot when you touch it, but you can drink it pretty good. Okay, so let's talk cost with this. So I thought I would save a bunch of money by using these reusable um, K cups. So the coffee grounds, so that's two tablespoons. So for Folgers, that's about 20 cents of coffee in here, and plus you need a paper filter, which is four cents, so about a quarter. 25 cents to use uh, Folgers, 
But the kicker is, so these espresso grounds from, from Starbucks, this is about 50 cents um, for two tablespoons. And it came, well, no, actually, this is about 40 cents for two tablespoons. This is anywhere between 50, 50 and 60 cents per K cup from Starbucks. So your your total drink for your total cost for this drink is anywhere from a dollar seventy five to a dollar fifty. Uh, it's gonna be a dollar seventy five if you use a K cup. Um, it's gonna be a dollar fifty if you if you use some Folgers uh, coffee grounds. So yeah, it is. I guess a quarter over time would save a lot of money, but I thought it would be a little bit more savings than that. Your biggest expense is the syrup. It's 41 cents for two tablespoons, and the milk is 84 cents for six ounces. And that's generic great value milk. And you could add another dollar to that. That's a dollar fifty. You could go anywhere to two fifty to three dollars to four dollars for. So again, here we have everything we needed. You're gonna need these filters. Cleanup is a little bit more than with a normal K cup. So you've got the reusable K cup here. And you're just going to open that up and throw those coffee grounds away or recycle them. So again, this is just a dad. I'm doing quite a bit of videos on this Keurig K-Cafe. These things sold really well this Christmas. And I'm just trying to help people with all the different kinds of drinks there are out there. I did another video where I did a, a K-Cup. So I used a coffee K-Cup to make my espresso shot. But everything else was the same. But I thought I would do just a specific video on using the reusable K-Cup. And... I check my comments daily, so please leave comments down if you got any questions about the products or and leave some comments if you if there's a new type of drink you want me to try. I'm gonna be trying uh I'm looking for new videos to do on this Keurig K Cafe. So I check my comments daily. And thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video helps. And if you could please like and subscribe.